Hello everybody. Pardon my messy hair and makeup less scary face. But I kind of just wanted to um jibber jabber for a few minutes. And yes, I always call it jibber jabber. I've definitely noticed that before. During these videos, my talking with Amberlynn videos, I consider this a way to kind of just talk with you guys because I know you guys like to comment down below and I appreciate it so so much so here we go so lately which is completely out of the norm for me um I have been doing really really good I've been counting calories I haven't been going over my calories besides during my one fatter day of in January, which it's still January, but you guys know what I mean. <sighs> I'm just like so proud of myself and it's becoming so much easier. I'm never really like tempted to eat over my calories and it's just crazy how it's kind of becoming second nature and I'm very, very happy for that because my past has been full of so many mistakes and mess ups that I literally sabotaged myself and kept gaining weight because I couldn't get control of calorie counting. Oh god, my hair. I couldn't get control of calorie counting and I always wanted to eat everything in sight and I just... It's so crazy, the 180 or 360 that I've done and I am just so proud of myself but yesterday was kind of hard for me I really felt hungry or it was more so like head hunger like I wasn't really hungry physically I just kind of wanted to eat and normally when I feel that way I I don't know how to control it and I usually give in and I eat a lot um to the point of binging myself to sickness but I tried my hardest and I did not give in to it. So what I did is I ate within moderation and in my calories. As you guys know, weekends are pretty much game weekends here at this house. And my girlfriend and I with her parents play games. And they tend to really enjoy snacks unhealthy snacks while we play games and there's nothing wrong with eating in moderation <sighs> but you know kind of just hanging around laughing and um just playing games and enjoying myself is kind of a weird trigger especially when there is food around i kind of just want to you know enjoy myself and pop candy in my mouth the whole time but I can't do that and I mean seeing them do it was hard they um they try their hardest to um you know not kind of like put the food in my face but they need to have their lives too they need to be able to eat what they want in front of me because I mean <laughs> you people can't change their lives just because I'm trying to lose weight but um there was this one candy that I saw and I did end up having two pieces and I just put it in my, you know, calories and, you know, I have no problem with eating, you know, anything really as long as it's inside of my calories, but yesterday I literally felt like I could go over my calories by like 4,000. I was just so hungry and it was so strange. I didn't... I just didn't understand it but like I said it wasn't real hunger and you know there's something wrong when you're hungry when you're not really hungry. I just kind of felt like you know talking about it because I'm gonna have these days where I feel like literally I can like eat the whole house but I think what's great about days like that is that <laughs> proving to myself that I I can I can fight that um urge to binge and I can fight that urge to mess up and just go to bed so happy and wake up even happier. I am very proud of myself for not messing up yesterday because I feel like it would have really um 
messed with my head and yet again today was another day full of games and snacks and yet again I just kept in moderation. I literally had one little um it's like it was like a cookies and cream wafer and it wasn't even a full serving. I just wanted to try it and I still put it in my calories. And also um I had mango sticky rice today for the first time and my girlfriend's mom told me it was 514 calories for a full serving so I took half a serving which knocked it down quite a few calories and by the way it was uber delicious and I still kept with my calories and just had half of a serving so you know what the moral of the story is if you ever feel the need to eat something don't deprive yourself because that is a binge awaiting I don't know if you guys have trouble or if you guys have ever had, you know, a binge kind of personality, but that used to be my life. I'd binge almost every single night. <sighs> and the reasoning is mainly because I kind of had this weird thing of where I always needed to be full. And I'm getting away from that, and I'm very proud of that. Um... <laughs> I realize that I feel so much better feeling kind of lighter in a way instead of feeling always full and stuffed but I used to have this psychotic like thought of I always need to be full and if I wasn't full I'd stuff my face till I was and it's bad but what keeps me from binging is giving in to my cravings but eating in moderation and I honestly feel like everyone should do this. I understand this is a lifestyle change and to become a healthier you. But, you know, every single person deserves a treat. And um, you'll still go to bed proud of yourself, trust me, because I've been going to bed every single night so proud that I am staying within my calorie range and... It's, it's just amazing and I feel like I couldn't do this without my girlfriend or you guys and I just appreciate you guys and appreciate my girlfriend so much. This is going to be an amazing, an amazing year and I feel it. I really, really feel it. So I think I'm going to end this video here on a positive note and again, thank you guys for talking with me because I really, really enjoy it and I'll see you guys again some other time. So if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye.